I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, what a God we serve. What an amazing season we're in. And Lord, I have so much joy just waking up and saying, wow, I'm debt free. Because 2,000 years ago, you paid my sin debt that I could get up and say, get behind me, Satan. I'm a free woman. I'm debt free. I'm no longer a slave to sin. I'm no longer a slave to Satan because Jesus Christ set me free. Wow, he paid for my freedom as he laid his own life down at Calvary. He was pierced and beaten and whipped and bruised and marred more than any man ever. I was his enemy when he laid his life down and he conquered death, hell, and the grave and he opened a door. He opened a door that the tribes of Israel could be reconciled back to the Father. Wow, this is good news. He opened a door for the whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is good news, people. It's always good news when we got our eyes above and not on our circumstances. And this morning, this is what the Lord's given me. Come from the four winds, O breath of God, and be released on the dry bones, God. Lord, break your people free by the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Lord. And Lord, let revelation and wisdom from above fall as we study these scriptures this morning, God. In Jesus' name, amen. I am in 1 Peter verse, chapter 3, verse 8. Finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another. Love is brothers. Be tender-hearted, be courteous. And now watch. This one, I'm praying that God gives you the revelation for this not returning evil for evil, reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing. So what the scripture is telling us, somebody just smashed into your car. So you're not gonna get out and return evil for evil. Somebody just come up and spit at you or cursed you. You are not gonna spit back at them. You are not gonna revile back at them. It said, on the contrary, you bless them. You bless those. You bless those. You bless your enemies. You bless them. It says, knowing that you were called to this, not only are you to bless those that revile you, that bring evil against you, the Bible said you are called to do this. And you're saying, ouch, why? Let me tell you why. It says right here in verse nine, it says, on the contrary blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. Now, I wanna tell you, here's your opportunity. It, you know, every day somebody can cut in line or or bump us our grocery card or, or act ugly to us in the workplace. Turn around no matter how evil they are, no matter how they're reviling you, I want you to turn around and release blessing. Just Lord bless you, Lord bless you, Lord bless you. That's it. Now, if you can train yourself to do this, look what it says. You will inherit blessing. You were called to be in these trials. You were called to have somebody smash into you in the grocery store that you can turn around and bless them that you can inherit blessing. Now today, I'm gonna to ask the Lord for everyone, everyone out there, and some of you are in very difficult situations in your family life, you're very difficult in the workplace and you're being reviled and they're doing evil things against you, even in family, brother against brother, sister against sister, husband against wife. Let me tell you something. You want to turn it all around? The scripture says, release blessing. Release blessing when you've been reviled, when evil comes against you. Release blessing knowing that you were called to this, that you will inherit blessing. 
Holy and righteous Father, I just pray right now, whatever the situations are, first of all, we unconditionally forgive those that have brought evil against us, that have reviled us, who have those that have hurt us, God, as we stand in the throne of grace, we say, okay, God, we, we unconditionally forgive those that call themselves our enemy, those that have hurt us, we unconditionally forgive. Now, God, I ask that you empower your people. When the reviling and the evil comes, God, I ask, Lord, that you quicken to their spirit. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, no matter what they do to you. God bless you. God bless you. I mean, that's the greatest blessing you can release is God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Come on, this is, a, this is a real piece of gold from the throne of grace that you may inherit blessing. Come on, you need a blessing? Turn it around right now and bless those that are, are evil and uh, bringing judgment against you and, and uh, reviling you, talking about you. Bless them. Just the Lord bless you and you can turn that battle around today. The Bible says you will inherit blessing. Wow, this is a day of good news from the throne of grace. God bless you.